Hey, and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover off the order dict class in the collections module of Python. Let's get started. All right, so before diving into any coding, let's take a look at what you're going to learn today. So really, order dicts are all about giving order to your dictionaries. We're going to learn about what an order dict does, how it's different from a regular dictionary, and when you might want to use an order dict. Now, let's get something out of the way first. Since Python 3.7, all dictionaries in Python actually have order. So, and guaranteed order based on when you insert an item. And so you might be wondering, why am I even watching this tutorial? Well, order dict classes of the collections module have two really big benefits here. A lot of code still doesn't use Python 3.7. So in your code review, you may run into issues where this class exists and you need to be able to understand how to create new order dictionaries. Similarly, order dicts actually do provide a little bit extra that normal Python dictionaries don't provide. In particular, they allow you to check for equality between two different dictionaries based on their order rather than just their contents. So let's get started and take a look at how we can actually use these order dict classes in Python to be able to give our dictionary some order. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually import this class. So we're going to write from collections, import order dict. So this now gives us access to that class. So let's create our very first one. So we'll call this order dict and we'll just pass in order dict here. So we can see right away by printing it out that we get this empty order dict. Now we can also check the type of it by using the type function. So and pass in order dict here. We can see it's part of the collections module. It's an order dict class. If we want to confirm that this is actually just a subclass of a regular dictionary, we can do this by using the is subclass uh, function. So we can pass in order dict here and pass in dict here. And I have to spell subclass correctly. We can see yes it is. So let's talk about how we can actually pass in items. We've created our empty dictionary. Now, how do we create items? So we can pass in uh, key value pairs just like we would with a normal dictionary. So we can say order dict one is equal to one. And I'm just gonna copy this a couple of times. And, okay, so now let's print out our order dict again and see what's actually happened here. We can see it returns a list of tuples rather than a dictionary, but it does this in order to guarantee the order because lists are ordered and unless we explicitly change that order, it's going to maintain them. So we can see, however, that all of these key value pairs have been added in the order that we would expect them to have been added. So. Let's take a look at how we can actually use some of these in very creative ways, in ways that we may not be able to in a regular dictionary. So we have our order dict here now. Now say we wanted to be able to move this first item here to the end. So there's actually a method for that. So what we can say is order dict move to end. What we're gonna just pass in is the key for it. So we're gonna say one. And now let's print this. And we can see that despite it generally having maintained its order because we explicitly told it to move a particular key to the end of the list, it's done that. And so now this order dict has had its positions explicitly modified using this move to end function. So the, now you may be wondering, okay, cool, Nick, how can we move an item to the front of it? Now there isn't a move to end method, uh, move to beginning method. There is, however, in this method, say we wanted to move the key for one back to the front, we could say last equals false. And so this is a bit of a quirk in my opinion. I would have much rather seen a method called move to beginning or move to front. However, when we run this, we can see that that key value pair has been moved back to the first position. So. Another very cool thing that we can do with these is actually pop items out of it. So we can say order dict pop 
and I'm passing the key. In this case, let's say we want to pop two and it's going to return that item and remove it. So it's returned the key for that. Uh, it's returned the value for that particular key. And now when we check the membership of this dictionary, we can see that that key value pair doesn't exist anymore. So one other thing that I mentioned earlier is being able to check for equality. So I'm just going to copy and paste a dictionary here or two dictionaries rather. So these are plain old dictionaries. Remember, since I'm running uh, an older version than Python 3.7, uh, the order is actually guaranteed. However, we can see here that in normal two, the second and third key value pairs have actually been switched in order. Now, when we evaluate this as an equality statement, Python's actually gonna return true because in equality statements of regular dictionaries, it's really only checking its membership. It's not checking its order. And this is actually where order dicts still offer some form of benefit over regular dictionaries. So when we convert all of these, and I'm just gonna copy and paste these for brevity, um, we can see here that similar to our previous example, the second and third key value pair have been switched. Now, these are ordered dictionaries. So when we check for equality, it's gonna check for membership, but it's also gonna check for order. So when we print this out now, we can see that it actually returns false. And so this is one of those key differences between regular ordered Python dictionaries and the ordered dict class of the collections module. So at this point, you may be wondering why use this ordered dict class? And so one of the great things about it is how explicit it is. When we create an ordered diction, uh, when we create a regular dictionary, despite it being ordered now, we're not actually explicitly stating our intention of that dictionary's order mattering. When we create an ordered dictionary, however, we're explicitly saying order matters here. And so if you want to be intentional about what your code is communicating to its readers in the future, using an order dict is very explicit in terms of communicating that intention. Similarly, you may still need to use it for backwards compatibility. If you're working on a code base prior to Python 3.7 and you want to be able to order your dictionaries, then you need to use this. Uh, the last use case, as we just saw, is checking for equality in terms of order as well. Because regular Python dictionaries only check for equality in terms of membership, not order, the order dictionary, if order, uh, if equality in terms of order matters, then you do need to use this order dictionary class. So that takes us to the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, it really helps me out. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.